Uh, hello, everyone. In this video, we are going to present uh, our paper, which have, has been accepted to IQAS 2024, uh, titled UAV Assisted Visual SLAM Generating Reconstructed 3D Scene Graphs in GPS Denied Environments. So in this presentation, we are going to talk about the introduction of the work and then the gap identification and contribution of the work, uh, talking about the proposed methodology and uh, the evaluations and discussions. So as an introduction, uh, unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs or in simple words drones have been used in a wide range of applications including monitoring, logistics, surveillance and many other use cases. And also such robots have been empowered with a wide range of different sensors including inertial uh, measurement units or IMUs, vision sensors and GPS. But the main problem with the GPS is that in indoor applications and indoor environments, there is a risk that it doesn't uh, work properly. So as a target of this research, we are going to talk about situational aware drones, which are actually drones that use different sensors to model the environments in which they are functioning and flying. And the output would be digital twins of these environments. So as one of the main use cases, we can talk about uh, visual simultaneous localization and mapping or visual SLAM. Uh, in which cameras play a crucial role. Cameras, as the main sensors of visual SLAM, can provide rich visual information about the environment. Uh, they are also easily mountable on drones, they are lightweight and cheaper compared to LIDARs, and they are also able to be used in indoor localization and map reconstruction tasks. In visual SLAM use cases, we can actually label the environments in which the robots are functioning uh, with different fiducial markers. So such fiducial markers uh, can provide richer and trackable information, especially in textureless environments, such as environments with blank walls. And such fiducial markers actually help in pose estimation and loop closure detection in visual SLAM. Uh, so there are various different visual SLAM that actually use the fiducial markers, such as UKU SLAM and TAG SLAM, uh, in which uh, they use the potential of fiducial markers for map reconstruction. But here, the main motivation of the work uh, is to present an end-to-end -end aerial robotic application which is empowered by a marker-based visual SLAM framework developed by the authors of this paper. So the framework is Semantic Orb SLAM 3, which has been uh, presented by the authors of this paper. And the main goal of this research is to integrate it into a drone. So this framework uses uh, RGBD camera as an input and the aim is to create a tightly coupled digital twins of the environment and model them in multi-level 3D scene graphs, which has also structural level objects highlighted. Accordingly, the main contribution of the paper are preparing a UAV platform equipped with sensors and modules for semi-autonomous flight in GPS denied environments, designing a system by integrating a visual SLAM framework into the UAV for real-time reconstruction of the maps of indoor areas uh, and such maps should be enriched with semantic and structural level objects. Moreover, wrapping the UAV and the Visual SLAM framework into an end-to-end -end situationally aware robot is another contribution of the work. And finally, we perform real-world scenario experimental validations using the mentioned system. As for the software side of the methodology, we are using the Visual SLAM framework, which has been developed by the authors of this paper. This framework is based on Orb SLAM 3 as a reliable framework, and uh, it reconstructs a map of the environment and enriches them with multi-level topological scene graphs. As the first step of the framework, it tries to create structural level objects, which are walls and doorways, and in the next step, it uses these structural level objects to create higher level object entities, including rooms and corridors, it also uses Aruko markers placed on the environment for augmenting the pose information of the labeled objects. The framework is also wrapped with ROS for easier integration with various robots. You can see the diagram of this framework here in this slide. As it can be seen, the framework has a multi-thread architecture and in the tracking thread, it tries to detect and track orb visual features in the scene and also Aruko markers which are presented in sequential frames. In another thread which is called Semantic Analyzer, it feeds a database of marker IDs in the environment to map the labeled objects which are walls and doors with the current pose information. 
As it had been mentioned before, the framework maps structural level objects and detects rooms and corridors in the environment based on these objects. Moreover, it can run semantic loop closure detection for a better map refinement. In order to save time, we don't talk about the framework in this slide, and you can read more about the framework by scanning this QR code here. So in the hardware part, uh, we focus on robot integration and adaptation to the framework. Uh, you can see the characteristics of the drone that we have used for the experiments here. The Visual Slam framework, which has been mentioned before, has been implemented in the Nook companion computer mounted on the drone. Accordingly, all the map reconstruction tasks have been done uh, in real time using this companion computer. Uh, the drone is also equipped with a real sense depth camera uh, to provide depth information for better map reconstruction. In this slide, you can also see the reference frames, which are robot, camera, marker, and word frames considered in the work, and also the transformation and calculations required for correct pose estimation, including robot to word, camera to robot, marker to camera, and marker to word. In order to showcase the functionality of the presented work, we designed an evaluation scenario in which we use the drone in indoor environments, which has been labeled before by Aruko markers on the doors and wall, and uh, we reconstruct uh, 3D scene graphs of the environment in real time with the help of the drone. So the goals of the evaluation here is to test the adaptability and capability of the developed framework with a drone which has been flying in indoor environment for map reconstruction, and also to showcase the functionality of the integrated system as an end-to-end -end situationally aware UAV. In this slide, you can see some samples of the collected dataset in which the evaluation have been tested on. You can also see that the environment has been labeled with different and dissimilar Aruko fiducial markers, and you can also see the characteristics of the collected data set in this table. It should be noted that Grand Truth data is only available for the experiments conducted in drone testing arena. For the Grand Truth, we use OptiTrack motion capture system to provide accurate pose estimation for the drone. In this slide, you can see some of the reconstructed scene graphs in which the robot has been functioning. You can see that the scene graphs are generated and represented in 3D, which are actually the digital twins of the environments in which the drone was flying. Other semantic information, such as the labels of the rooms and the names of the doorways, have been achieved by the help of the fiducial markers. For preparing the environment, uh, we just place the fiducial markers on the doorways and a dictionary of the ID of the fiducial marker which have been placed on the doors or on the wilds have been fed to the system. In this slide, you can see the evaluation results with respect to the ground truth data which have been achieved by the help of the OptiTrack motion capture system. The metrics we use for such evaluations include the mean, root mean, a square error, and a standard deviation. According to the table data, we can also see that there was an improvement of the mean and RMSE using the proposed framework compared to another Visual Slam framework which is OrbSlam 3 which has been used as the baseline of the work. In the next slide, you can also see the qualitative assessments. For such evaluation, we calculated the performance of the proposed method with respect to its baseline, which is Orbistam 3. And the metrics that we used are mean, maximum, minimum, standard deviation, sum of squared errors, and root mean squared errors. According to the table's data, we can see that there are no much differences between the pose estimated using the framework and the ones estimated by the baseline. This actually means that the framework is able to maintain the accuracy of the baseline apart from adding new valuable information to the reconstructed maps. As a discussion, we should say that the developed system works as an end-to-end -end drone application and it is also able to reconstruct the maps of indoor environments with mapped structural level and high level semantic entities. The plus point of the presented work is that we can maintain the SLAM quality apart from mapping objects which are actually helpful for robot trajectory planning. We can also work in real time without imposing high computational costs compared to deep learning based methodologies. It should be mentioned that all the tasks and modules have been handled in the companion computer, which is actually not a very powerful computer. Moreover, making digital twins of environments in which the robots are functioning with the help of the fiducial markers and represent them in 3D scene graphs is another plus point of the proposed system.
As the weak points of the system, we actually need to prepare the environment in which the robots are functioning uh, by labeling them with fiducial markers. Moreover, there is also a risk of incorrect post estimation uh, of the structural level which have been labeled by the markers in case the market detection is noisy.